Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about the shapes of a histogram graph and how the mean and me median relate to each other for each situation. Okay, first let's look at the this graph here, which I'll call graph 1. And if we notice here, these are these are number lines, so they start from zero and the numbers get bigger. So if you remember, the histogram, this, the height of this line up here means that we have more small numbers but less large numbers. Okay, so the most number here may be from zero to five. Okay, I'll just make these numbers up. So most numbers in this data set fall in this bin. Okay, and as the numbers get bigger, the frequency of the bigger numbers actually happen less. So an example would this be, if there was a quiz out of 25 points, most people did very badly. So this would be a hard, this would be a hard quiz, or a hard test, or a very difficult, you know, assignment. Okay, or the people did poorly on it. Okay, so let's see, we call this skewed see what you think, see what you think, skewed right or skewed left, this would be skewed right, okay, skewed right, it skews towards the larger numbers that don't happen that often, okay, this example of this, I'll just show you real quick, would be um, like 1, 2, 2, 5, and if I put a, let's say I put a 25 in there, all these, there's a lot of small numbers, but this is one big one, so it would pull the mean higher, so it skews towards this, towards this mean, which gets me to the second thing for each thing. We would say, how is the mean and median related? I mean, like where they are compared to each other. So, for example, if I do this, if I put an X bar and a median, where would I put it? So for the same reason, you have a few numbers that are pretty big. That's going to pull the mean to those larger numbers. So the mean's actually going to fall here, and the median might fall here. Remember, the median is where the median is where 50% of the data falls. So 50% of the data might fall here, okay, and the other 50% might fall on the other side. So this is probably where the median is. This part right here. That's probably where the median is, but the mean is going to get pulled to the right. So the mean is actually greater than the median in this case. Okay, so this is the total opposite. So I'm going to start this at 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, because this is a number line. This is our x, so numbers get bigger as they go to the right. Okay, so this would be a test set of 100 points, and as we could see, this would be more of an easy exam, or the people did better on it because most people got in between a 90 and 100 and not so many people got between a 60 and a 70 so we call this skewed left it always skews to the smaller number okay and then if I have an X bar and a median okay people tend to get this idea backwards because they think that if there's more numbers somewhere it's gonna skew that way but that's uh, that's actually not true the more numbers, okay, the median will kind of be to the right, and these smaller numbers, it's going to pull to the left. This idea would be if you had like a six, or let's say, let's make you a little smarter and say 80, 80, you got a 95, you got 100 on the test, and then you turn around and get a zero. Okay, so most of your numbers are very good, but what's this zero going to do to your mean? It won't affect the median that much, but it's going to pull your mean to the left. Okay, you're all nice and good, but this zero is going to hurt you really bad. So the X bar may be somewhere around here, but the median is going to be somewhere here. Okay, so in this case, the X bar is less than the median. Okay, and this one here. So if we cut this down the middle and flipped it over each other, you get approximately the same thing. So this would be symmetric. Symmetric. And then we'll say and unimodal. Because this area here kind of re represents one mode. 
Okay. So this would be our symmetric. And these, the x bar, is about the same as the median. Okay. And this one here, if you, well, this is the one we like. This is the one we like. So this is the one we want. Most things, most things in uh, that we measure tend to be symmetric. IQs, weights, heights. There tend to be a lot of people in the middle, but a few large and a few small. Okay, if you look at this one, the frequencies of every bin is about the same, the same, the same across. So we call this uniform. We call this uniform. And uniform is symmetric also. But as you can see, it's not unimodal. Okay, so in this case, the x bar is going to be about the same as the median also. Okay, so those are our shapes. Come up with a way to uh, memorize them. So thank you. I appreciate you watching. Have a nice day.